are on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic, it's Alex Jones. You know, my family on both sides came over on the Mayflower. My family was involved deeply in the revolution in 1776. My family on both sides started the Texas Revolution right at the core, Washington on the Brazos. I am an American. I'm as American as it gets. And I care about this country. And I've been on the air 19 years back when other people were shock jocks attacking the other morning radio host and telling them that they were glad that uh, they had uh, had a miscarriage. I got involved in media to fight for the Second Amendment. I got involved grassroots on access television to try to stop Agenda 21, UN takeover of the national parks. I made my first film in 1997. I've been physically attacked. I've been death threatened. I've been called deeply racist by MSNBC, showing no clip of me saying anything racist. And you know why? Because I create unity that beats in the heart of black and white and Hispanic and Asian and, and, and everyone who wants justice. We are the light in the dark of the night. We want freedom. And the system knows I'm genuine. And the system knows I have a heart of a lion. 
and that I'm not afraid of their corruption, I'm not afraid of death, I'm not afraid of being shut up, I'm not afraid of being destroyed. And so they send out their liars, the George Soros Media Matters and all of its front groups, MSNBC, CNN, Nightline, BBC, all of them attacking me every week. And why do they do that? Call me crazy, call me dangerous, call me scary. And I guess freedom is scary. I guess it is scary to, 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 to see someone who doesn't care about political correctness or doesn't care about threats and, and doesn't care about being demonized. Because I know I'm right. And I'll tell you what really scares the system is that we continue to win. We continue to put the talking points of truth out and decompartmentalize the public so they can see the big picture and understand. Because they know the average person in the government's good. They know the average person on the street's good. They're just compartmentalized as well. And they're scared, ladies and gentlemen, because what we're saying is getting purchase. It's getting a toehold. And the truth is, you can't just get rid of Alex Jones now and have this signal stop. The White House has vowed to target alternative media. In public announcements in 2013, they vowed to infiltrate conservative and libertarian groups. Folks, I've been approached over the years by the system and told you better sell out, you better join us, you know, you're going nowhere if you do this. And that's happened to other people in the media. And you need to understand something. When Media Matters and MSNBC and Glenn Beck come out and say that I'm calling for violence, when you listen every day and you don't hear one of my reporters, you don't hear one of my people calling for that, you know it's being done because we're reaching out to the FBI. We're reaching out to the CIA. We're reaching out to the system. I mean, you, you don't think the CIA and FBI don't know my family's been loyal to this country from the, for almost 400 years before it was even a nation in 1620 or whatever it was? You don't think they don't know how much of my family has honorably served in special operations and secret operations around this planet. You don't think they don't know I'm real. They got my phones tapped, ladies and gentlemen. They track everything I do. They got psychologicals. They know. They know I'm real. That's why they're scared. Because one man stands up who's honorable. There's other honorable men and women out there that will resonate with that. And that's why they're scared of Clive and Bundy. That's why they're scared of the thousand plus people that honorably stood out there in the face of government tyranny. And that's why they want to demonize Alex Jones. Because if they can bring down that figurehead, they think they can bring you down. Well, I got news for them. There's no stopping the resistance to tyranny. Just as Newtonian physics shows, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. And so the tyranny comes in, there's going to be a reaction. What you're seeing... By, by, by Homeland Security six years ago when Obama got in is when they went this direction to move everything over to the Tea Party, gun owners, returning veterans. They're going to frame us for the Civil War. We have to get out, out front, not be intimidated, expose they're doing that, expose it for the 95% of the FBI and CIA and Defense Intelligence and the rest of the groups to decompartmentalize them so they understand the triple game going on here that they want to play us off in a civil war against each other. But at the same time, if the feds fire on us, we've got to defend ourselves. That's, that's peace. Peace through superior firepower, to quote, that's the Army slogan, correct? Peace through superior firepower. I'm going to look it up right now. Go to the old NSA database, and you type in peace through Superior fire power. You guys find that for me? Because I know that's the slogan I've seen on the side of helicopters. Or just go tell the riders. It's a commonly used slogan. No, but I want to put the proper slogan on. I know I want to just put it on TV. I just want to put it on screen. I, I don't want to. I just want to put it on screen. Okay. Now, the issue here, ladies and gentlemen, is that we're supposed to just roll over in the ditch and be told, you go in these little free speech zones in a whole county, and uh, you don't come out here with your guns, and you don't open carry. They're trying to ban guns. We have to open carry, or we lose the entire Second Amendment. 
The police chief says it's illegal to carry guns openly in San Antonio, even though the state law says you can open carry a rifle. So I went down there in civil disobedience with about 1,400 people and gave a speech in front of the Alamo. And then as soon as we left, anybody they found straggling with a rifle, they would arrest. But that'll all be beaten in court and is being beaten in court. Just like it was illegal to tell Rosa Parks she had to sit at the back of the bus. They may have had some state law saying she had to, but the law written on our hearts knew it was wrong to make her sit at the back of the bus because she was black. The government's got almost 90% of the land in Nevada. This guy was able to run his cattle on it before they claimed he had to pay grazing rights. The common law said he didn't have to do that. It's a commonly used yeah, U.S. Army slogan. Peace to superior firepower. But if you believed people like Glenn Beck, that's not the case. But I need to start getting to these clips right now. The point is, the, 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 this is the most important point. The liberty movement and resistance and even speaking out is being tarred and feathered. It's being demonized. It's being prepared to be framed for stage terror attacks in America and Glenn Beck knows this before he left Fox News. He said it. They're going to stage terror attacks and blame the liberty movement. That's why I think there's good in Glenn Beck because sometimes he really tells the truth and he is charismatic when he does. When he's lying and stuff, he's real disjointed and creepy. And, and Glenn, you know that. And, and don't think kissing up to him so you can keep your $300 million or whatever. When the globalist, from all your ghost written books and all the rest of it, and, you, and the science of getting money from your listeners, which is fine if it wasn't only about that. If it was about funding the liberty, that'd be one thing. But if it's about dominating and controlling everyone and bullying everyone that you're God and you're the Messiah, that's not good, Glenn. But the long and short of it is this. He knows that they're getting ready to stage stuff and blame it on the Tea Party to shut the Tea Party down. The Republican and Democratic leadership have decided to do that. You can see the tea leaves, they're as clear as the day. And so he's making his decision to say, I don't care if none of you listen to me again. I'm not going to be for violence with Alex Jones. So at the same time, he's framing the major libertarian constitutional Tea Party that Ron Paul and myself started seven, eight years ago that the Republicans tried to take over and failed to take over. It's the grassroots opposition. It's, it, it's the biggest manifestation of that. So they call it racist. So minorities don't feel like they can be part of it. To be a minority is to be anti-gun and to live in a slum. That's what the Democrats say. Oh, I, I thought it was to own your own business and be successful and be independent and, and, and to be judged by what you produce and what you stand for, not what color you are. So they don't want us to come together. They said all over the news that we just showed an article on screen for TV viewers that I was behind the Boston bombing and I'm deeply racist. MSNBC blames Boston bombing on deeply racist Alex Jones. Zero proof. They had the former head of the Republican Party steal on to agree with them. The power structure, it isn't just Harry Reid and land grabs. The Republican leadership's involved as well. I mean, John McCain was part of the Keating Five. They have taken over. They have secured their criminal gains. And now they want to secure it for the future. And they want to start a civil war to bloody the nose of gun owners and to demonize us with staged terror attacks on children. You can guarantee that's going to happen. It's going to be scripted to then once and for all make us shut up and go away. I have looked at every angle of this. It doesn't matter if you chop little kids' heads off on TV and have a computer-generated Alex Jones doing it. No one's buying it. Everybody knows the score now. The message has been sent. The jig is up. You're wide open. You're not doing this in the dark, hiding your hand. You can you know, work against your fellow man in the dark only so long. And so I want to tell the power structure, do not stage the terror attacks. Do not blame it on us. And Glenn, you ought to know that if this new world order comes in, they're going to come after you. They're, they're not going to leave you there. You're not going to be left alone now because you're so scared because all your FBI advisors are telling you come in. They live in that same culture of being afraid and compromising and doing what they're told all day and rationalizing. And so you've basically become and joined... I mean, I can already see it on record, your admissions of being run by the FBI. And, you know, the, you know, the five FBI retired guys, oh, yeah, retired in quotes, the, you know, the, the five retired FBI Mormons that, that, you know, that all stand around you and tell you what to do and advise you and all the rest of this. The whole thing you're doing is an FBI program, just like Breitbart has an FBI asset 
out today, Brandon Darby, saying that 